Hi guys, I'm back with my health and fitness update just to let you know how I'm doing. This will be a short update because it's barely been a week into this and not much has happened. <laughs> my body is still looking the same in my opinion, but I did just get a scale. Let me show you that. I got this scale. Let's see, can you see it? Which is pretty awesome in my opinion because not only is it a scale, it measures your weight, but it also measures your body fat, hydration level, your BMI, which is your body mass index. You can also put your weight goal in and it'll give you a daily caloric intake to what you should be consuming daily to reach your goal and they'll give you an estimation of how long it will take to reach your goal. It does all of that and it's just $30 at your local Walmart. <laughs> so I think that is a really good investment especially because getting healthy is not all about just losing weight. Yeah, it also shows you your bone mass. All of these things are in here. So that's very important. You need to know all of these things to truly be healthy. I'm not just looking to lose weight. I told y'all it's about health for me. So I'm gonna let you know right now how I'm doing and then we can do a weekly check in on where I'm at on each of these things until I reach my goal. I did weigh myself the first day in the morning and at night just because your weight will always vary of course from the morning to the night because you've eaten all day and in the morning you're on an empty stomach and I did them both more or less to know where I actually stand so I'm gonna go from my nighttime one just just what I want to go from I weigh 153.6 that is my weight my body fat percentage is 33.5 guys that is extremely high especially for me and not only my sides but my height that is high the hydration level meaning the water in my body right now is at 48.5 my BMI which is your body mass index mine is 27.5 for my age I should be between 18.5 and 24.9 so I'm already above that. My muscle is 55.4. My goal is not only to get my weight down, but to get my body fat and my BMI down. So this is what we're going to be watching. As far as how I'm doing on my eating, because that was my big problem. If you watched my previous video, which I will link below, which is on my food addiction, I am doing pretty good. I'm not going to say I've done perfect or anything like that, but I've made a more conscious effort to eat healthy. I'm trying to eat vegetables. <laughs> I tried to eat peas, but it wasn't working. So uh, what I did was I put my peas and my spinach in a smoothie, which one of my subscribers actually mentioned, you know, to try smoothies and water and tea, you know, to drink more so I would eat less. So that worked for me. Also, my subscriber, Olivia Tarpy, suggested that I check out the Tone It Up Girls. If you don't know them, they have a blog and they have a channel on YouTube and they're just trainers and they have some great tips for like snack substitutes, training tips, as well as like motivational stories of people who have successfully lost the weight and become healthy. So I did get to check them out and they do have some great tips to snacking on things that are just a little bit healthier than you know my typical snacks. So those things have helped. I'm going to keep it up and try to keep improving. I'm back to actually making my meals, thinking about what I'm eating. I told you I'm still writing things down. That's helping. So overall, it's not a big update, guys, but the health meter scale is awesome. And now we can actually see what's going on underneath all of this. Keep watching. Hopefully next week we will have some better results and I will have more detail on what I'm eating. As of right now, drinking more water and consuming as far as my shakes instead of choosing to eat more, my shakes that have vegetables and fruit in them, that is really helping me. 
and I am still working out. I didn't mention anything about my fitness, but I'm still doing my five to six days of working out a week. I am in between cardio and strength training. I am mixing them both. Like every other day, I'll do one or the other. And when I do my strength training, I either do upper body, lower body, and then full body. So I'll split those up. So three days a week that I will do strength training. One day will be upper body, the other day will be lower body, and the last day will be full body strength training. And I always incorporate some type of cardio even on those days i'll still do a little and abs are always a must you can never go wrong with doing abs but you can't just do abs and think you're gonna get some abs okay that is it for today's update i'm sorry if it wasn't that much fun but get that scale check it out because i really think it's a good investment to get especially if you're on the same journey as I am find what you like that is healthy and work with it okay try to let go of those other things and find substitutes thanks for watching guys